Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Ultimate Dino King here coming at you with another video and today I'm bringing you a video that's been quite a while in the making. I looked back on the metadata for some of these pictures and they were made a year ago. So yeah, definitely a while in the making. But today I am bringing you my custom anime cards. So before we get started, you will notice that I've put watermarks on the pictures and that's because I don't want people trying to use my work and pass it off as their own. So they don't really affect how you can see the image too much, but again, apologies for that. I'd just rather put them on there than have people stealing my work. But anyway, let's get started. So I've broken them down into sections and you'll see those sections as we go through. So we're gonna start with unaltered dinosaur cards. Oh, apologies for that. Uh, they're in alphabetical order for the most part, and um, there's some that are the exception, and you'll kind of understand why as we go through. So we'll start off with Abelosaurus. Oh, sorry, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on these so you can see them rather than me just flicking through it. Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx is just an assist dino normally, but with its colours I really feel it would fit a secret typing. Arenoceratops, Caranosaurus, Decentrurus, Decreosaurus, Eocacharia, everyone's favourite Eocacharia. Everyone loves an Eocacharia. Might try and make an alpha version of this at some point, I think that would look quite cool. Eoraptor. Eoraptor would have been quite interesting to see in the anime. Give it some spectral armor, see how the spectral armor varies between all of its different forms. So I know we saw um I know we saw Mega Raptor with spectral armor, but I don't think we saw any of the others, so it would be quite interesting. Fukui Raptor Gondwana Titan Gondwana Titan's actually quite small in real life compared to other sauropods. Lilianosaura. Uh, with Lilianosaura, you'll notice that um, there is no element to it, so it's kind of like the Velociraptor that Seth finds in the anime in that sense, that it doesn't actually have an attribute assigned to it. Ametriacanthosaurus. Mini King. I put Mini King in here for a bit of a joke. Uh, it would never have made it into the anime, so yeah, it's just it's just here for the fun of it. Minmi uh, in the TCG, Minmi is an Earth dinosaur. Um, go back to Lilianosaur, that's a grass dinosaur in the TCG as well. But yeah, I changed it to Secret because I feel like Secret would fit it a bit more. Kind of like with Palposaurus. Monolophosaurus, speaking of Palposaurus, you'll notice that um, this looks a bit different from all the other Palposauruses that um, Dinosaur King have made, that's because to get the best sort of quality image I took the, um, the tag team one that they showed in the anime because it, if it, cause it was in the anime it had a more high resolution picture available. And then I messed around with the, the saturation and darkness of the image to uh, tweak the hue a little bit so it looked more like the the version that you see on the secret cards. Polacanthus. Procerolophus. With this one, um, you can kind of see that it's a foil card and you can see there's chips in the foil here. And I think there's one there and there as well. But that, that's the problem you have when you're using the images you find online. Rugops. Don't know why in this picture, but Rugops looks like he is um, looking up at Superman or something like that. Simon Tyrannus. Never did get his big break, which is a shame. 
oh sorry i've gone back uh trodon Tr in the tcg trodon is actually a wind type so this is fitting to give it the the wind attribute in, in this card now we go to spectral dinosaurs now most of these are clones of the cards we've just gone through but with spectral coloring so you'll you'll see as we go through uh, i'm going to talk a lot less in this section because otherwise i'll be repeating myself so again front and back have the the dark purple coloring like the spectral cards would do um i haven't done any active spectral ones where they desaturate that may be something for me to do in the future for each and every one of them i don't know it, it'll be worth playing around with at some point uh so yeah even on the secret ones um if you're paying attention in series two in the japan arc ancient japan uh, both the megalosaurus and the deinonychus secrets had the purple borders rather than the rather than the gold ones again yeah spectral ear raptor would have been really interesting to see Lilianosaurus still has no attribute. Imagine Mini King with Spectral Armor. That would be quite funny to see, to be honest. Palposaurus would have been another good one to have with Spectral Armor, because like Deinonychus, there is, um, well, in the arcade, Deinonychus has four dinos in one card, but in the anime, it's three, so Palposaurus probably would have been three as well, but that would have been interesting for Spectral Armor. Now, if you were paying attention, you'd have noticed that there was one missing in there, and that was Eokacharia. And that's because I haven't done a straight-up um, border colour swap. I've made Omega Eokacharia. Now, the stock image for this online is actually of an old 2009 calendar, and it's probably the most high-definition picture of Omega Eokacharia available online. So I cut it out and put my own background in to make it look better. Now we're going to alphas. Uh, there's a few sort of like stock alphas available in the arcade and TCG, but most of them are my custom ones. Let me know what you think about these custom ones down in the comments below. So we've got Arena Ceratops to start off with. Arena Ceratops is the only dinosaur that I have a normal spectral and alpha version of. Dilophosaurus. Iguanodon. And Sauropelter. Sauropelter is the last, like, sort of already made one that I'm showing you. If you haven't been noticing, there's a different sort of purple, it's like a pinky purple background for the alphas pretty much like what the alpha acro has in season one so starting off with my custom ones velociraptor uh the image is not very high quality i do apologize for that this is one of the best images i could find for velociraptor that didn't involve about 10 hours of editing so Then we got Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus was an absolute pain because of those black parts it has on him. Because when I when I 
make these, I mess around with the hue, saturation, and lightness and darkness of different areas of the dinosaur. And when you try and mess around with the black bits, it doesn't do anything unless you really saturate it. And when you do that, it looks absolute. It just it just looks silly. And so I decided to keep the black bits and just work around them. And I think it, it's come out fairly well, to be honest. It could have been a lot worse. Now we're getting on to the good ones. Alpha Chomp. There's something about this one that kind of bugs me. I think it's the crest. But... We've got Ace. Uh, you'll, you'll notice I had some difficulty with them um, getting parts of the colour right. You'll notice there's green stripes down the back. That's just where I couldn't get all of the um, all of the colour clipped into one to one bit. It's quite quite tricky to do unless you're selecting it pixel by pixel, and that that takes forever. We've got Paris. I really like Paris. I'm not sure why, it just works. It really works. Paris is probably my favourite out of all of them. We've got Terry. Terry's quite vibrant. A uh, good mix of pinks and purples yeah, there. And the yellow. The yellow works quite well as well. Spiny. Again, you'll notice I had a similar problem with the colour on Spiny. You'll notice he's got green and blue dotted all over the place. And then Tank. Tank I had to redo just because when it came out it didn't look like too much had changed. So now we're going on to move cards. Now some of these move cards are quite quite interesting. Some of them not so much. Uh, you'll see which, which ones as we go through. So we're going to start off with normal move cards. We've got Archaeopteryx Charm. Another appearance of Archaeopteryx here. Elemental Power. This is one of my favourites. I don't know why. It just looks really good. Uh, Lillian Cure. This is using the same image. Just in a slightly different position as the dinosaur. But I made this one first. I made this one a good nine months or so before the other one. Um... Struthio Rush. Again, apologies for the low quality image. Tie Attack. Uh, then we've got an alpha version of a card, so I've done the, the purple back, just because I think that's what an alpha card, an alpha move card would look like. We've got Softening Beam. And we've got Tie Bomb. So now we move on to Super Moves. Crimson Flame, in case you haven't guessed, these are going Fire, Water, Lightning, etc, etc. And I've got two of each, so Flare Sword is the second one for Fire. Uh, water, we've got Neptune Stream. And Tragedy of the Sphere, or Tragic Sphere, whichever way you want to say it. But for Lightning, we've got Counter Blitz, with a higher quality image, that would look absolutely stunning um, and we've got lightning axe lightning axe is tricky to work with because the image the high quality image you've got available you can't get the dinosaur and the axe in at the same time it's just not not really possible without doing uh, a hell of a lot of editing so Gaia mountain for earth and giga rock hammer And then for grass, we've got egg attack. Again, low quality image, I do apologize. And thorn whip. And then for wind, we've got dino illusion. Again, an interesting one. Which we could have seen in the anime, but they didn't put it in there. And jet shuriken. Now for the last lot of move cards. Yes, there is some more, and these are the last cards that I have for you today. Our triangle cards. I have three to show you today. Yeah, three. Three for three, basically. Uh, the first one is the one that I had to do quite a bit of customization on, and you'll understand why. I'll explain it a bit to you. 
But um, I put all three dive moves into one card. So you got Tupuwara up the top, Tapajara on the left, and Yanguera on the right. In theory, I should have flipped Anyanguera. I should have flipped a bunch of them so that um, it could be rock, paper, scissors. It doesn't matter as long as they're all on there. But yeah, Tupuwara dive, Anyanguera dive, Tapajara dive. All in one card there. I have got the file where I cut these out of their cards, so I use the Kakushin First cards as reference. So what I may do is I may make alpha versions of these, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, speaking of alpha, we got the alpha droid triangle. Minimal customization here, to be honest. Um, just getting that color sorted on the back of the triangle. It's got the three alpha droid moves, like fight alpha trooper, hold on alpha trooper, and I can never remember the name in the last one. I've got it in my collection, but I just don't know its name. And then last one, I call it the Super and Seismo Triangle. Um, of course, because it's got Supersaurus and Seismosaurus. And the moves for the card is Bigfoot Assault, Super Impact, and Two Platoon Crush. Again, all the moves using um, Supersaurus and Seismosaurus. And that is the last card that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I want to make more custom cards, so I hope um, that I'll have enough to bring you another video in the future. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, let me know what you think about the cards and the customs down in the comments below. Thank you, for, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.